it's time for me to take the Centon 3S out for a drive. I've got 2S and 3S. Yeah. Let's see what I can do on that track. Track is not exactly dry. This could be fun. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to show the truck to you real quick on the table. It's box stock except for XT90. And we're going. Let's do this. Here we go, guys. Totally box stock except for that XT90 down there. Batteries of choice are, with all that glare, the Gen, I <laughs> made it worse, the Gen Zay's 5,000 milliamp 2S and a 5,000 milliamp 3S. And that's it. I'm even going to give it the first run with the stock radio. Just because, you know, um, you know. Anyway, let's go and get this thing outside and uh, see what it's got. So the first pull is going to be on 2S. Doesn't seem to cog too bad. Let's see. All right. Now, there was some cog on full throttle launch. First crash. All right. Now that it's no longer clean. Wow, 2S moves out pretty darn good. Whoa. Barely had enough throttle to actually pull the front end up. Let's try it again. Man, this thing moves out good on 2S, and these tires are hooking up great. Oh, that was the body catching air. That happens on the SETs. Happens quite a bit, and my trim is out a little bit, so I need to trim that up a little bit better. <laughs> Let me set my trim a little better. Okay, trim is a little bit better. Let's... Uh, See if I can do a little bit better now. Look at that, I actually got it right. That was smooth. Let's try this triple in the back. Dude, that was good. I can tell I don't have my GT5 radio. I am really pleasantly happy on 2S. Like, really? Nice! 3S is gonna get wild. Let's do it. It'll never ever be clean again. That was just what, a couple of, a couple laps? I mean, this is working, but it doesn't work all the way back there. Okay, time to hit that 3S. Okay, let's give it that pull on 3S. Oh boy. I should have more air control now. Holy moly! Jeez, I was happy on 2S. Look at that, got the triple perfectly. I don't have my GT5 in it, but what do you guys say to me trying to get some fast laps? Let's do it. So I'm driving stock radio, no gyro or any of that stuff. Let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can really drive. Nice slide onto that. Okay, the 3S really helped me out on that. It helped me bring the front end back up. Guys, this truck is actually running really good, except for my, I need my gyro. <laughs> oh, this thing just parachuted. Something is loose. Something's loose. Yeah, I think I got a bunch of dirt in one of my tires or they're already coming off. Yep, let me check that. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's what it is. Everything is all dirty, got stuff packed in everything. We'll go ahead and blow the wheels out and give this another shot. Yeah. With the wheels all blowed out, we're good to go. All right, let's see what I can do now. Oh, we may actually use that wheelie bar. Did you see that wheelie come across the line? When this thing catches air, it's just, it's all over with. Of 
corners well. Trying to not catch all that air with it. Nice there. Gets that triple pretty decently. Yeah, it's definitely trying to bring that front end up, isn't it? There we go. That wasn't too bad, even though my corner was pretty... Oh, I missed that completely. My corner was pretty bad back there. Okay, this thing is really catching there. Maybe I need to cut some holes in the body. All you SET guys, speak up. Like that. It's like there's nothing I could have done. <laughs> After some good driving there. 91 ambient temp. Oh, hold on. I got about 90, 101 down there. Okay, 104. So the ambient temps are around 90 right now. The ESC is pulling about 107. Overall, temps are good. Good run. Uh, definitely still picking up some sand and stuff in the wheels. All that stuff adds to the heat, weight of the vehicle. All that stuff but you know what i'm happy with it let's go ahead and get it wet a little bit before i gotta clean it up i mean it's already wet from the track anyway right simple and easy <laughs> nice Now you gotta watch the sideways hits, they'll sink. And I don't wanna tear into the disc, so I'm gonna go clean it up for real now. The drive is over. I've got a, I've, I've got a few things I gotta point out. Number one, this thing is way faster than I thought it would be. On 2S, I was totally happy. On 3S, I was blown away. Okay, um, 18.4, but that's just a first drive, you know? These tires on my particular track and on the grass, I did drive them around the grass a little bit. They hooked up beautifully, beautifully. Um, hopefully the tires don't expand, contract, expand, contract, and break down and just get worse and worse over time, which they may very well do that. Um, but I'm absolutely happy with the tires. They've done great. The motor ran it great. The gearing seemed to be right on point. It does seem to have almost like a, a real light drag brake to it. So I don't know about that one. But anyway, the servo seems to be a little bit sluggish on the table. But on the track, it seems to do just fine. However, that probably won't get changed. I've already got more receivers. where I've got three GT5 radios, and they're just about all full. I'm about to get a fourth. Wow, it's crazy around here, let me tell you. But anyways, uh, the truck ran really good. The, I got to cut out and do what I can to try to let the air out of the thing because when this thing got big air, man, you guys just saw it just start floating like a big old parachute. And that's something about the short course trucks. The Technos, they have a little air dam that you can put down here, which I don't know that it really helps, but I, I had it on mine when I was racing. But yeah, this thing right here just catches air and just floats. Um, and we saw that in some of the bigger jumps. So anyways, uh, I'm absolutely happy with this purchase. Uh, I'm happy with this thing. I'm going to get on it again, uh, get the GT5 put in this thing. Get, I might do the servo. I don't know. What to see. But anyway, guys, I'm happy with it. Check that description. I'll link up this down below. I did buy this from A Main Hobbies. So yeah, hit them up, guys. Anyway, check that description. Use those links. They are affiliate links. A main eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Horizon's got these out. I think these are available everywhere, including your local hobby shop. But anyway, use those links. Hit that subscribe and ring that bell, guys. Uh, I'm happy with this one. I really am. Later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.